really fun movie to watch. Uh, the characters are fantastic. The story is both hilarious and crazy and scary. I wondered what was your first reaction when you got the script? What was your take on it? I was definitely shocked. I feel like everybody watching it, maybe they were a little bit shocked to see what was happening. Um, I really thought it was a great original story with uh, great friendship and love and young love. And it just, I was really surprised. I had to read it a couple times because I just wasn't sure if what I thought was happening was happening and it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> when I was watching it, I was thinking this has to be a metaphor for something else, but I'm really bad at metaphors and I couldn't figure it out. So I was wondering, did the cast sit down and discuss the meaning behind it and, and, and what it was all about? You know, we shot it so long ago. I, I'm i trying to even, oh yeah, no, we did do a table read. Of course we did. I was just like, I don't even think we did a table read. No, we totally did. But um, me, when I first read it personally, I was bummed out about the ending but it was nice to read it with everyone and to watch it. And it gave me a totally different feeling. It was more of, you know, appreciate what you have now. And, you know, you never know when things are going to change. And I feel like that message read really well in the film because I truly, when I first read it, it was like, what? But then reading it out loud with Catherine and Charlie, we all were like, oh, yeah, this is a beautiful ending. Now, speaking of Catherine and Charlie, tell me, what are they like in real life? They're both so great. And it, it didn't feel like we didn't know each other. We, we met maybe just a couple of days before we shot the movie. And we all were just so close, so quick. And they're so great. And it's so nice to work with people like that because it can make the movie tough. If you don't, if you have to be close with people that, you know, you don't enjoy, but I, we all really had a great time together. Did you all discuss what you would do if you were in that situation? Oh my God, no. I, I don't think anybody wanted to think about that being a real situation ever. But um, I definitely thought about it and I was like, no way. There's nothing like this would ever happen. Quarantine? Yeah, right. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> It's, it's crazy, right? Because who would have known that this would be so relevant today when the book was written, you know, a while ago and then the movie before the pandemic. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just so funny how it relates to today's audience really well. Yeah, I never thought it would be something that would be relevant. I never hoped it would be something that would be relevant, but I think it's the way that it's presented is, is really great. And I think it's a great film to have in a time like right now. Now you play the, the uh, best friend of the lead character who's, she's pretty crazy and unpredictable, whereas you play the um, more down to earth and, uh, you know, more sane one. In your circle of friends, which one of those two would you be? I think the more sane one, down to earth. Uh, well, yeah, I think the more sane one. I think still a little crazy, but when it comes down to it. I, I'm definitely hitting the situation more logically than Mara ever did. <laughs> I'm definitely the test in, in the friend group for sure. Especially now I'm like very cautious. And now that we're living in like a real a quarantine situation, I'm not behaving like Mara at all. <laughs> you are from Vancouver. And I was wondering what are the logistics of filming there? Because so many projects are filmed there and it looks really sunny in a lot of them. What happens on the days that it rains? Do you go indoors? No way. No, we just, we just truck it through the rain and it's crazy and I'll never get used to it. And I don't live there now, but I lived in Vancouver for 20 something years and I never get used to the rain. I'm always like, Oh, it's raining again, even though it rains for like eight solid months out of the year. Yeah, no, we just do it in the rain and the cold and the snow. So you're really enjoying where you live right now? Mm. I live in California right now and it's been crazy, but it's, it's been sunny, which is wonderful. What has the pandemic been like for you? Do you have somebody to hang out with? Do you have pets? No pets. I uh, have some well, I mean, I don't really go anywhere because I just want to be safe, but uh, a lot of virtual hangouts, a lot of baking and crocheting and TV watching and 
just I, I I'm a homebody anyway, so I haven't it hasn't I haven't changed my behavior too much. What shows have you been binging? Are there any that you can recommend? Um, there's so many. The Boys on Amazon. Um, I watched the first season in one day, which I'm not proud of because I didn't leave the couch. Um, what else have I been watching? I watch a lot of old show re reruns. Like I just, The Simpsons always is great for me. And Girlfriends. And I just watched Euphoria, which is crazy. Another crazy teen show. I wouldn't call it a teen show, actually. It's, it's nuts. But yeah, I've watched a lot of shows. Those all sound like great suggestions. I'm definitely going to check them out. And thank you so much for chatting with me today.